Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about adding your dog's fur, or any animal's fur for that matter, to your dreadlocks. Now, I am new to the dread journey. I just want to be honest and transparent about that. And I have learned this on my own with very little video to go off of. I just wanted to try it and see how it worked and so far so good it's been in there for i don't know a week or two now i've even took a shower and washed my dreads and it stayed in there and you can obviously see the difference from my others it's longer there's more color and there's a noticeable difference and i was gonna do more but it had dawned on me that some people might be curious on how do you add your animal fur to your dreads. So I figured I would do a video on that and explain how I add my animal's fur to my dread. So first you need a fluffy doggy that is going to provide some good hair. Or fur. Mm -hmm. This is Ellie. So, first and foremost, be mindful of where you collect your dog's hair from on what part of the body for obvious reasons. I try to collect from like the sides or the chest. Make sure either you gave your dog a bath. If not, you might want to take the hair fur that you collect and go wash it with shampoo. Let it dry out that kind of thing before you put it in your hair but once you have it collected there's not a whole whole lot here but should be enough to be a noticeable difference trying to get the camera to focus on that is a decent little chunk I'm gonna show you the steps that I took to add my dog's fur and it has lasted this long anyhow I'm not saying this is foolproof yet but if you ask me in the comments for an update, as I go, I will let you know. But it had occurred to me that people might want to know how to do it. So I figured I would share how I added my animal's fur to my dreadlocks. So, you're going to need your hook. Get you the smallest hook you can possibly get. You're going to need your fur. I put a hat on to keep all my other dreads out, but so you could see. Now, I left out my example. This is the one that I already done. It's been in there for a while. This is the one I'm going to add to so you can see. Here's the fur. So, firstly, it's as simple as putting it on it where you're wanting to add it. And give it a good old fashioned palm roll. Look at that. That's crazy, right? But you got to get it to attach. So then you got to go through there. And you actually got to pull it through your dread. Just like you would if you was doing normal maintenance. See that? You're pulling it actually through it, back and forth, get up inside of there, grab some more. Put, roll it up, just work it in there, back and forth, like anything else. Be careful, obviously, I have new dreads, so I don't want to mess them up by overworking it. But, you're naturally going to be doing maintenance and stuff like that. So, as long as you don't overdo it, then it should be alright. Again, I'm no professional. I haven't had dreads for 40 years like everybody else, so... I'm just kind of trying my own thing. 
but I know I can't be the first one to do it. And most synthetics extensions and stuff are done made out of like horse hair and stuff. So I figure it can't be much different. And not that I have a problem at all with people using extensions and stuff, but I kind of told myself when I got dreads, I wanted to stay as natural and real as possible. So animal fur is real. It's not fake. It's not plastic. It's not synthetic. It's, it's a real fur. And I think it could be cool. It's a cool way other than, uh, adding dye and potentially making your hair brittle to give your hair a different color with what its natural stage color is going to be. But yeah, I'm just simply working this with the hook back and forth. I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to finish this and I'll show you when it's done. So I said I was going to speed up to the end, but I wanted to point out that you do got to do this palm rolling technique periodically in between. It keeps it wrapped around your actual dread so that you can intertwine it with your actual other hairs that are loose and out that you're going to grab like that. That's my actual hair, and I'll try to intertwine that with it in it. So, yeah. I just wanted to show you, you do, you know, and I don't scrape that to pull it up and through, but you do occasionally got to do some palm rolls, so you just keep it around that dread until you get it worked in really well or you think good enough that its natural process is going to start taking over. Now... You can work this in as fine as you want, but you're going to find out that fur is a different texture from hair, and especially your hair. So it's soft and fluffy, but once you get it worked in good, I'm confident to say that it's going to run the course like your natural hair. It's eventually going to start intertwining and accepting and tangling and naturally locking up itself. And that is the goal. This one, like I said, is about two weeks now. A little longer. And I just done this one. And I'm not going to publish this video for, I don't know, probably a month or so. Just so there's enough time. For me to put a final ending saying I feel pretty confident and if you want to try it you should too. So here we are two weeks past and I've even took a shower and the hair has pretty much stayed. Now I will admit that I think I've lost some so when you go to apply your dog's hair you're gonna want to put quite a bit in there but overall I think it looks pretty good added to it. Now, I can't speak on the maturity of it and what it's going to do. But if you subscribe to my channel, I will obviously put updates if it completely destroys my dreadlocks. Thank you very much for watching. Whoop whoop.